This is a review for the Dyson V10 Absolute and V10 Animal. The only real difference between the Absolute and Animal is the fact that the Absolute adds a second soft roller cleaner head. Otherwise, the Absolute and Animal are identical. They have exactly the same power, the same runtime, the same filters, and so on and so forth. Note that because they are essentially the same vacuum, I'll be referring to the V10 Absolute and the V10 Animal simply as the V10 for the rest of this review. And with that being said, let's start with the review. The V10's airflow was measured at 45 CFM. Its suction was measured at 92 inches of water lift. The V10 easily passed our filtration and sealing test, largely because of its HEPA post-motor filter. In our carpet stress test, the V10 had no trouble with smaller debris, though it did struggle a bit with larger debris. The Torque Drive cleaner head does have a switch that lets you set gates on the front of the head to a fully closed, partially closed, or fully open position. But even with the gates fully open, the Torque Drive cleaner head still struggled with larger debris in this test. None of the cordless vacuums we tested, including the V10, had any trouble picking up either pet hair or human hair in separate tests. Though their brush rolls will eventually tangle if they pick up enough longer hair over time. In our carpet deep clean test, the V10 picked up 23 grams of debris after being pushed back and forth three times over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of debris. In our hard floor stress test, the V10's performance is a bit of a mixed bag. It gets the tightest seal with its cleaner head gates fully closed. This was very well demonstrated in our crevice testing, in which it performed just about as well as any vacuum we tested, including the V11. So you really will want to use the vacuum on its highest setting with its gate fully closed on hard floors. But when doing so, the vacuum pushes forward a lot of debris. You can open up the gates, but when you do so, you lose the vacuum's ability to pull debris out of grooves and crevices, and it still struggles somewhat with larger debris. The bottom line is that the vacuum works very well on hard floors outside of picking up larger debris. If you purchase the V10 Absolute though, that problem is solved with an included soft roller cleaner head. The vacuum doesn't clean out crevices and grooves as well with its soft roller cleaner head installed, but it still does so very well. And the vacuum can now pick up larger debris on hard floors much better than it can with the torque drive head installed. Moving on to battery life and performance, the V10 was tested to run for only six minutes on high. Though it does offer good performance on high, recall that it picked up 23 grams of 30 grams of debris in our carpet deep cleaning test. Battery life is much better on medium. The vacuum was tested to run for up to 26 minutes on medium, though performance drops dramatically on medium, so you will rarely want to run it on medium. Next, we have ease of use. The V10 feels light in the hand, just like the older and smaller V7 and V8. The V10 features the classic Dyson trigger to turn it on, just like the V7, V8, and V11. And you have to keep the trigger pulled to keep the vacuum on, just like you do with those other Dysons. The V10's dustbin has a maximum measured capacity of 500 milliliters. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. We definitely like the vacuum's raw performance, its airflow, suction, and filtration and sealing. We also like its carpet cleaning ability, especially its deep cleaning ability. Hard floor performance is also good outside of picking up larger debris with the torque drive head. The V10 is also very easy to use. It's light and easy to maneuver, and it also comes with a large dustbin. It's also highly versatile, and it's built with high quality parts. Moving on to what we dislike about the V10, the torque drive cleaner head definitely struggled with larger debris on both carpet and hard floors. We also don't like the battery life for the V10 at only six minutes of runtime on high. In terms of general recommendations, both the V10 Absolute and the V10 Animal are not recommended. Both of these vacuums have terrible battery life, and this is a non-starter for these cordless vacuums, especially at their higher price point. The V10 Motorhead has slightly better battery life, and it's slightly cheaper, though you lose the larger bin and the soft roller cleaner head of the V10 Absolute. And the truth is that the V10 Motorhead still doesn't have great battery life, and it's still not really that cheap. So all in all, the V10 Motorhead is also not recommended. If you are looking for a cordless vacuum at the V10 price point, we would actually suggest saving a little bit of your money and going with a cheaper option. The less expensive Tinco A11 is going to give you similar raw performance, similar general and deep clean carpet performance, and similar hard floor performance. It's just as easy to use, it's just as versatile, it's just as durable, and it will give you much better battery life with a swappable battery 
all at a lower price than the V10. You could also go the opposite direction and consider a Dyson V11. The V11 outsize is our recommendation if you want the absolute best of the best cordless vacuum on the market. The V11 outsize has a massive bin and a much wider cleaner head that makes cleaning larger spaces much easier than it is with the V10. Unlike the V10, the V11 also offers good performance on medium. And on that medium power setting, the V11 can run for over 20 minutes. The V11 also comes with an extra automatic mode. It comes with a countdown timer that shows you the exact time of battery life remaining. There's just a lot of other extras also going on there with the V11 if you want to step up your budget slightly uh, to go with the V11 over the V10. So in conclusion, the V10 is generally not recommended. All submodels of the V10 are generally not recommended. The A11 is the best value option, the option that we recommend for most consumers at this time. The V11 outsize would be the upgrade option here. The option if you want the absolute best of the best cordless vacuum on the market. Now we do test new cordless vacuums all the time. So our recommendations may very well change over time. So definitely check the description of this video for all of our latest recommendations. And thank you very much for watching.